Where do you want to start? Well, as much as I'd love to just build a big old slide and slide down it, something tells me that that might be dangerous. Yeah. So I'm thinking we should start here in the shop and do a kind of proof of concept. See whether we think we can get that kind of distance and precision. Exactly. Let's start with a small slide, a small slider, run it through some paces and see what we get. Without putting our bodies on the line. Yet. Yet. It's a slippery slope to the truth. So they're starting with a proof of concept. And here's what they're looking for. Doing a scale water slide experiment is a bit of a problem because gravity doesn't scale. But it's no big deal because I only need our little dummy to land in about the same spot over and over again because if he doesn't, he's toast. Secondly, based on our video, to scale, I need him to travel about 16 feet. 16 feet is the approximate X marks the spot for the kiddie pool. Mind if I take a quick look how he slides? Not at all. Knock yourself out. If we get those things, then this might actually be doable. Not half bad. But uh, not close to leaping off of that and going 15 times his own height. No water. Yep, this is about to get a lot more slippery when wet. The blue colored water helps the guys ensure that the whole slide is lubricated. And then Stunt Adam takes his first slip. Slip and slide, scale test. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. He left a little blue stain nicely marking where he landed. Nine feet, eight inches. Nine feet is hardly the 16 feet Jamie was looking for. But the guys have a slippery trick to try. You want to try it again, but throw a little dish soap in that water? Sounds like a good idea. I'll be right back. Using soapy water to further lubricate the slide will reduce the friction on the stuntman. Oh, yeah. Helping him to accelerate and hopefully fly further. Here we go. <laughs> and three, two, one. Sure enough, the soap surfactants made Mini Adam go the distance. But what about accuracy? Here we go, looking for the same spot. When I look at this rig, I think he's not going to hit the same target every time. But that's not going to stop us from trying, is it, little dude? Oh, I'd rather be done. No, you got a few more slides. OK, here we go. I'm not getting tired of that. It's not tiresome, but neither is it accurate. So Jamie's got a plan. I'm wondering about fixing him so he's in this position. Yeah. Binding the arms and legs should streamline Mini Adam and help him to land in the same place twice. But before he flies, the slide needs another spritz of soapy water. I figure we should do something like this for the full-size ramp, you know, but larger, like one of those handheld weed sprayers. I can't see it putting out anywhere near enough liquid. I think it will. If you want to bring it, that's fine. But I swear, if we end up using it to cover the ramp, I'll pay you 100 bucks. <laughs> All right, then. The gentleman's wager stands. So the tiny slider is tossed down the slide. Zupa! Again. And again. Woohoo! Boom! That actually was pretty close to the last one. It was. And he even landed feet first again. Both times? Yep. Nice. And soon enough, a pattern starts to emerge. The more they send streamlined Adam down the slide. He's getting pretty much in the same area. Go ahead and mark it again. I'm getting kind of excited. The more predictable his landings become. <laughs> you know, Jamie, after all the weird crap we've rigged for commercials, I totally did not expect it to get so consistent. Yep, I got three in a row here within an inch of each other. Nice. Let's look at how our criteria stacks up. The first thing is that we need our little dummy to land in exactly the same spot. And all these landings are within a few inches. That works. Secondly, to match the video, we need him to come to about 16 feet. And we got landings between 13 and 19 feet, so this might actually work. 